Could the key to better cancer treatments be swimming in the Tampa Bay waters? As Dr. Joe tells us tonight, one local research team's work has spanned four decades trying to find out. For over 60 years, he has very sharp teeth. Moat Marine Aquarium in Sarasota has been teaching children about sharks. They swim really fast because they have fins on their back. During most of that time, senior scientists Carl Lohr and Kathy Walsh have learned a lot about these mysterious marine creatures, specifically the shark's immune system. They're doing some amazing things health-wise. Observations in the wild tell us that they rarely ever get cancer. Their secret lies in an organ called the epigonal. No other animal group has it. The epigonal pumps out immune cells, much like bone marrow in humans. And when scientists harvest these particular cells, something incredible happens. If we change these compounds from the shark medium environment to a human medium environment and then expose these compounds to human cancer cells, it will kill the human cancer cells. Walsh says making these cells happy in the lab was a giant step in the team's research. That was um, a lot of trial and error, a lot of um, quite tedious work changing one component at a time. And it took several months. It took about 18 months. Unlike chemotherapy, their shark mixture doesn't kill all cells in a targeted area. Our compounds will kill certain types of human cancer cells very efficiently, but not so much normal cells. All sharks have an epigonal organ. There's a male coming right in front right here. But their work revolves around the bonnet head shark. It continuously gives them the best, most active compounds. The good news about that is the, the bonnet head shark is probably the most common shark in our waters. Taking the few that we do during the year for, for this organ and for the cells does not put any kind of a dent into the, into the natural populations. It's unique research that could one day lead to improved cancer therapies. There's no other lab quite like ours in the world. But being unique has a downside. It makes it more difficult to get funding because the federal government likes to fund projects where a lot of people are, are working on it. So progress is slow, but they are hopeful right. clinical trials in animals aren't too far off. Then pharmaceutical companies would surely take a greater interest. Until then, the team continues their journey investigating the ocean's top predator and how it can help humankind. The marine world is very, uh, at a very untapped source of, of animals who are doing some amazing things in their environment. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Dr. Joette Giovinco.